Your courage will fail. Good afternoon. Welcome back to Small Vampire. So, time to visit the Ascalon Club. Indeed, there, uh, Jonathan. Indeed. And where should we go? Should we go visit the the club? Is there anything else over here? I don't think we've been to the West End yet, have we? Hmm, not sure. We'll see. Join the Royal Fleet today. Hmm. No, I'm, I'm good, I think. I fully suspect. Are there vampires here? Hmm. I think it's this way. It is not this way. Okay. You like the dialogue available for Lady Ashbury. Okay. Maybe next time. I bet we're going to have to go around, aren't we? Uh, it's locked, I bet. I cannot enter. Uh, of course. So we're going to have to go all the way around. Of course we are. In level 21, we're a bit... Just seeing that we're a bit on the low side. What was the point of going up here? I have no idea. Okay. Also, apologies if you can hear a fan in the background. Got the fan on. As you might have guessed. It's a bit warm in here. Because there is a heat wave going on in jolly old England. Hmm. I mean, getting here is getting a bit of a, a faff, isn't it? That was the vampire I saw earlier. This war takes no prisoners. Step away. Oh. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. I think. Burn it, boys. Well, yeah, I mean, that's your job after all. Die, Come here, you. Well, yeah, that's why I mean. There you go, good. He did. I think I'm already going to hell because I'm a vampire. He did. Let's have a look at this guy. Who is he? The I call threat. You're not gonna. Alright then, whatever. Food around or anything like that? No? Okay. Well, you know what? I'll get over there and if anything fun happens in between then, I will bring you back. Oh, really? Here? Oh, very nice. I've just unlocked a shortcut. Okay. Do I have that Uh, Around the corner. I mean, I would... Whoops. I mean, I would go to the hideout, but I don't think there's any point. We don't uh, have enough XP to level. Sorry, evolve. The Ascalon Club. The heart of British Vampire Society. Not quite as subtle as I expected. Yeah, you're not kidding. Yo. Good evening, sir. Please forgive me for disturbing you. I'm a doctor. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Calhoun Russell, and I welcome you. Well, I must admit, it's good to receive a warm welcome for once. I'm Doctor... I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Dr. Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. Oh, you're a shop? All right, I then. may have a... Good evening. 
How is the situation in this part of town? Life is good and peaceful. We're lucky to live in such an era of progress and wonders. Are you not concerned about the epidemic? Oh, I'm sure the authorities would take the appropriate measure if the danger were that high. Wow. You cannot expect the newspapers to expose the truth while the war is still raging. I can assure you that the situation here is desperate. Well, that's news then. But I can't believe that things are that bad. Are you sure you're not exaggerating a bit? For the thrill of it? New hint available? Uh, does not consider the seriousness and the dangers of the epidemic. Oh, he's level five. Mm. He knows no social sir. Mm. Is it not a little too late to be trading? On the contrary, it is the perfect hour. Believe me, my friend, it is always at night that you meet the most fascinating characters. Oh, well, hello again. So you prefer to work at night? Oh, I also enjoy a sunny day like everybody else. But the night always has a certain... Je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi of its own. I know exactly what he was going to say there before I was in. <laughs> but what about the epidemic? The bombs and raids? And all the random violence? Please, sir. This is London, England. We will prevail. And if a bomb must fall on my shop, then I'll be there to hear it falling. Mm -hmm. Okay. What can you tell me about this place? I recently found the best steak and kidney pie in the city. I'd be glad to share the address if you want. Uh, sure. Finding a good restaurant? Is that really all that interests you? Oh, I have many passions, but nothing brings me ecstasy like subtle and exquisite flavors from my teeth to my belly. Well, I suppose. I must confess, I have quite specific tastes when it comes to nutrition. Really? Well, I'm always happy to try new exotic meals. If you ever find an intriguing table, please share the address. Yes. Okay. Oh. Do you have any family nearby? Not since my parents died. I'm London's lone gourmet. Lone Gourmet. London's Lone Gourmet. What a strange title. I used that name in my early years when I was a food critic, and I kept it. Oh, I see. Really? But you seem to be such a pleasant and sociable fellow. I'm afraid the real hedonist has to be sometimes. I discovered ecstasy as a solitary pleasure, but it does not mean it can't ever be shared. Wait, are we talking about actual ecstasy here, or just the pleasures of life? Hmm. Goodbye, Mr. Ro not sure. Remember, I don't let me. Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Come on, Johnny. Don't you recognize your oldest friend? Clarence. Clarence Crossley. How are you? Hmm. My God. So you survived the war, too. So sorry I didn't recognize you at first. Well, I almost didn't recognize you, either. War does that to men, I heard. Hmm. In my case, it was true. For I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. Hmm. Okay. The horrors that lie underneath. When did you escape the war and return to London? You know what's funny? I almost never think about the war. Not anymore. I'm involved in another kind of battle now. Oh dear. Oh dear. Is he? Is he going to be a? Is he going to be a vampire hunter? Oh no. I know what you mean. I haven't had much time to think about the war either since my return. Of course. With the epidemic, I bet you've been busy as well. Forgive me, Johnny. I, I didn't want to sound selfish. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. What is this new battle? Well, I saw terrible things during the war. Horrors I thought I'd forget. They're here too. They're everywhere. Oh, crap. Yep, yeah, there we go. Vampires. Oh, shit. How is your wife, Venus? We've spent so much time away from each other. And so many things have happened. Oh, dear. But you're alive. 
You returned in one piece, and you have a family. How many soldiers can say the same? Believe me, it's not quite that simple. Unlike you, I'm not the man I used to be. Is everything all right at home? Surely Venus was relieved to see you return from France in one piece. Have you forgot what people are like in this part of town, Johnny? Venus fears for our family reputation. Now her husband has become the village idiot. Hmm. Okay. We need to find Venus first, don't we? How is this guy? I mean, it's a migraine. We don't have treatment for migraine. Can we? Oh, we do! Do we? Do you need medical assistance, Clarence? It's a little late for visiting hours, don't you think? What can I say? I haven't lost my old habits. I hope we're talking about the same habits, old friend. Hmm. Um, so... I've just been recording this week's... Well, next week's Vampire, really, technically. Um, my computer crashed halfway through saving. And this happened. So... I have until... Tuesday. The 5th. Third of July. <sighs> to get back to where we were. Unless the game backs up before it also saves. Shit. Right, hello everyone. After uh, the last scene there, eh, and so my game was corrupted, I asked the nice people on the vampire subreddit. And this guy here gave me the perfect. Perfect save. This is just before we've actually gone to Askalog. The problem is, he's already level 50. So what I'm going to do, we're going to do uh, up to level 25. I know I was level 21 uh, before, but I kind of feel like we'll just go to 25 and it'll be fine. Um, right, which ones did we use? We had Blood Spear, didn't we? But to be honest with you, I'm not really... Hmm. Let's get... Let's get claws up. We can't get claws up until we get everything else up. That's weird. Yeah, and let's get some body stuff up then. You get quite a bit of health, actually. It's quite cool. Alright, so I'm a little bit uh, higher than uh, what I wanted to be, but that's fine. Oh, I forgot they did that. Right, let's present ourselves then, shall we? Right, we're back to exactly where we were, which is fantastic. And we have quite a bit more experience than before. I'm not sure what the guy did on Reddit, but I think... Oh, I should get your name, shouldn't I? Suckatox. Suckatox is your name on Reddit. I thank you very much. Right, let's go. What's going to happen here then? I wonder. <sighs> to be honest, I have no idea. We'll see. I wonder who it's going to be. Who's going to answer the door? <sighs> oh, never seen you before. Where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? Someone just tried us. an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Reed. Come on in. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. Oh, wow, there's pre-win everywhere. There has been quite a battle here. <laughs> hey, you're not kidding. I'm sure the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. Yeah, probably. 
Oh, Mr. Redgrave. Wherever the friggin' door is, there's a door. Good evening. Is that guy? Is that old great grave? Really? An old guy? Uh, huh. The one's just died. My good friends, if I may have your attention. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansher was no match for him. Here, here, here. Hmm. Come forward, young Ekon. For we have so much to discuss. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol and Chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. Thank Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? She's a close friend. And I'm honored that she feels the same about me. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Uh -huh. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of this scowl plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End. But the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain. But we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. <sighs> Why do you suddenly need me? The Ascalon Club only recruits the best, and you definitely fit the bill. Your scientific and medical reputation alone would qualify you as a candidate. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End. Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? Uh, no, I haven't. Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club. And serve me as such. Well, I'm going to have to consent to join. Before I accept, I have so many questions. Please ask. What does it mean to be a member of the Ascalon Club? It means that you swear to protect the interests of the Crown. That you become a loyal servant of the British Empire. Oh, I can do that. Do you have any official recognition from the government? A charter from His Majesty the King? No. Of course, the Ascalon Club publicly supports the Empire. But the true nature of its members remains a secret. You'd think they'd never be able to keep that a secret, don't you think? Am I supposed to follow orders? As founder and chairman of the club, I alone am entitled to make demands of our members. And I do appreciate obedience. Hmm, okay. I killed Fergal, who claimed to be one of yours. Sent to cleanse the East End of all scowls. Will his death be an issue? Do not worry. My priorities have changed. Fergal was a zealous servant of mine, but like any servant, he had his limitations and is readily replaced if necessary. Oh, well, thanks for not getting pissed. What is the Ascalon Club's express purpose? We follow the credo of William Marshall, the greatest knight who ever lived. As was he, we are sworn to protect the British Empire. Hmm. 
What does Ascalon mean? Ascalon was the lance wielded by St. George, glorious patron saint of England when he slew the dragon. And like that lance, we pierce the hearts of all our nation's enemies. Damn. William Marshall founded the Ascalon Club. Not exactly. William Marshall granted me immortality, and I founded the club a few years later. The good knight has been gone for so long. Oh, I wonder if he's going to be my maker. Hmm. I agree to join the club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. My initiation? Fear not. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. My fellow members, dear friends, please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is, Is his blood pure? pure? Well, speak, Dr. Reed, in front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? Yes, I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. It is time to sign the Book of Allegiance. I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation. Is that fighting on the on the blood there? Did you notice? Mm, delightful. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Doctor Reed. Yeah. Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us. One of us. And I think we'll continue this next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. I personally went. Your friends will abandon you.